Let's be honest, who doesn't dream of sitting in the sun, drinking a coffee, and making $10,000 a month? It sounds like a really big stretch, but it's a stretch that I made and I managed to achieve last month. And in this video, I want to tell you exactly how I did it and as well as that, how you can do it as well. I just got some bird poo on my hand. So if you remember in the last video, I talked about closing down my agency and starting this new one. And well, like the growth of it went absolutely crazy beyond my expectations. But then came a problem and that's kind of where I started getting a bit crazy and things started to, I guess, yeah, go get a bit stressful. You see, with all this growth, I really started to feel the pressure of not only delivering work for a client, but developing our processes and building our team. You only have so much time in a week and I soon became aware that I just didn't have enough time to do everything that I wanted to do. Building my processes, delivering for six to seven clients at one time, it just led to a lot of unhealthy decisions outside of my work life. And I took the decision two weeks ago to fire the whole of my team. It's very stressful trying to set up your company, build a team and deliver for clients. And I just had to realize that in order to make five steps forward, I had to take two steps back and kind of start from the beginning. This time I've got a new plan to scale past 10K a month. And I want to take you guys on that journey and share it with you as well. All right, enough about me. You guys probably want to know exactly how I managed to get 10K a month. So now that we've got that stuff out of the way and you're up to speed with the story, I thought I'd tell you a little bit about what caused this sudden growth over the last six months. Before we get into that next part, I want to say thank you to this week's sponsor, clientmanager.io. ClientManager.io is this platform that allows you to manage your clients in just one place. But more than that, you can do invoicing, contracting, task management, all with your team or by yourself to help you run your freelance or business. They have cool features like time tracking, lead pipeline management, and there's even a feature to create reusable invoices, which I think is really helpful when you're trying to scale and you want to keep things simple and not have to rewrite the same thing every single time. So if you wanna check out Client Manager, they've very kindly given me 20% off for their plans and you just have to put Harry in at the checkout to try it out. And they're giving you a seven day free trial anyway, so you can just look at the platform and decide, is it a good fit for you? Thanks again to Client Manager for sponsoring this week's episode. One of the biggest things that's helped me is having an introducer that's based in the San Francisco Bay Area, United States of America. This is someone who refers my business in return for a fee. So we pay them $300 um, for an initial contact with the client. And then if we sign, we pay them 15% of any monthly retainer that we have. And in fact, the last $20,000 worth of business I've had have all come from just one woman that I met on Discord. So th this is basically how it works. I was on Discord, a woman from a community that I'm a part of put out a message asking for help. I helped her for free and we happened to hop on a call maybe a couple of weeks later and she said, I've got a client for you. And then after that, another client, and then another client. And it kind of snowballed. And all of a sudden I was looking at uh, $10,000 a month, just like that. So I knew this model works, finding people and then growing your network, which was awesome. So I thought about, well, how can I make this easier and really use this opportunity of introducers and people that I'm networking with to grow my business and get past 10K a month within my agency. Whilst I was focusing on how to find more introducers, a client that I was talking to happened to be a bit on the fence with wanting to work with me. They didn't know if they were able to trust me fully because we'd never worked together. And I think probably one of the hardest things to get over straight away, like build that initial trust where they know that if they're about to spend $3,000 with you, they can. And some clients will trust you straight away, some clients won't. And I was trying to figure out how can I make it easier for a client to start working with me? And considering that I'm building a productized agency, I thought more from a product perspective, how could I give this person something that would allow them to have a taste of working with me? at No cost to me and at no cost to them. And it just kind of like mutually works out. And that's where I found out about Stripe free trials. So you can set up in your, trial, in your Stripe account a free trial that a client can take a subscription out with you 
and they get 7, 14, 30 days free depending on how much you want to give them. Which is what I did, so I offered her a free trial and we did a discovery session within that and it worked. She signed up and immediately I got another $3,000 added to my revenue line and that, ladies and gentlemen, is my new plan. We're about six to $7,000 a month at the moment. We dropped a little bit in revenue. I'm doing all the work, but I've got a freelancer who's ready to take on some of it. And I think that I can give him some stuff soon, which means it will free up my time. I'm starting to get a lot more interest from enterprise clients. And they're definitely the ones that pay more money overall and are more fun to work with as they just generally have the budget in order to be able to work with you. And that's the basis of it. I want to start building out this productized agency and take you on the journey as well. So in the meantime, whilst you're waiting, if you want to find out about the old system that I used and how I scaled a design agency to 5K a month, I would watch this video next.